so in this video we are going to talk about cryptography so it's a very important term that we use in cyber security so let's discuss what it is so cryptography is basically the science or some people call it the art of hiding information from uh, people who are unauthorized right so what will you have in cryptography so there are specific terms and operations that i am going to talk about so the first thing is called plain text plain text is your original message right so if you say hello hello is going to be your original message then when you have to send this message and you have to make sure that no one can read it or no one can understand it you will convert it into cipher text cipher text is your encrypted message the way we convert plain text to cipher text is through encryption encryption is the algorithm or the process through which we are going to perform this conversion now when you as a receiver receive this encrypted message or your cipher text how will you open it you will open it with your decryption algorithm you will take the cipher text run it through your decryption algorithm and you will get the plain text but throughout this process you will require a very important component and that is the key so just like in real life when you lock your packages or bags with the help of a key similarly in cryptography we have a key right so that key is going to help you encrypt and decrypt data now cryptography is of two types so the first type is known as symmetric key cryptography where you use the same key for the whole communication so if you have a sender and a receiver both of them are going to use the same key but the biggest problem is sharing of this key so what if someone compromises the key in between or let's say i as an attacker i steal the key from the sender then aut automatically and obviously the receiver's end will also be compromised so to tackle this problem we use asymmetric key cryptography in asymmetric key cryptography we use a key pair so we use two keys one is known as a public key the other one is known as a private key so you must be thinking how do we use these keys now these two keys in asymmetric key cryptography have two different use cases one in which we are going to encrypt the message with the public key and decrypt it with the private key and on the other hand the other use cases where you encrypt the message with the private key and you decrypt it with the public key so how will they work in the first case the receiver is going to generate the keys the receiver would keep the private key with themselves and give the public key their public key to the sender this way confidentiality will be ensured in the other scenario where i as a sender will generate the keys i keep the private key with myself and give my public key to the receiver 